This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Pickle. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. A massive water pipeline project set to run through part of the Phoenix Mountain Preserve has been rerouted. The mayor's office just signed an agreement with ADOT to run the 66-inch pipeline up the State Route 51 easement. The project aims to ensure a reliable water source for North Phoenix communities. Arms up! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! I will shoot you again! New developments in a deadly police shooting in Tempe. The family of a teenager killed by an officer has just sued the city and the officer. The family of Antonio Arce is seeking damages and a jury trial. In the police report, the officer claims he saw a gun and shot the 14-year-old in the back as he was running away. After the shooting, they learned that it was an airsoft gun. The officer involved was recently able to t retire with a pension. Selling drugs for food stamps. A Glendale man was indicted by a state grand jury. Prosecutors say Bahar Abdul Aziz and a woman exchanged drugs for SNAP benefits or cash. They've been doing it since 2017. This happened at a store that they own near 55th Avenue and Bethany Home Road. Some of the drugs included cocaine, spice and meth. They got arrested after an undercover investigation by the DEA and Phoenix Police. More military funds could be used for border wall construction. The Washington Post reports the Trump White House wants $7.2 billion diverted from Pentagon funding. It would allow the feds to build 885 miles of new fencing in about two years. Just last week, a federal court approved $3 billion of military funding for the wall. Ashley? Well, Chris, we'll remain with clear skies and sunshine as we head into our Wednesday afternoon, but we're going to be keeping an eye on that area of low pressure as it moves closer and closer to Arizona because by Thursday could bring a little bit of rain our way. As far as tonight, we'll see some light winds out there. 20 for the overnight low in Flagstaff, 37 Sedona and 43 for Phoenix. Our temperatures for your Wednesday afternoon, 42 the high in Flagstaff, 55 in Sedona and 73 in Phoenix. Ashley, thank you. For more updates on stories we're following, you can download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Chris Pickle. Have a good night.